everybody what's up and welcome to this video today we're going to be answering a few other questions that people have about entrepreneurship business investing all that good stuff so um i'm not gonna waste any time i'm just gonna dive right into this hopefully you guys get some value out of this first kind of question here i'm tired of reading about people making six figures in 30 days with drop shipping and t-shirts who here has an interesting small business that just ticks over with a profit each and every month what are your stories yeah so i i kind of kind of relate to that when i first started in business everywhere and even still now you will see everywhere people just saying oh make six figures with this six figures with this six figures with that six figures with this drop sh uh, drop shipping smma consulting real estate airbnb flipping house flipping um real estate investments flipping courses uh whatever it is flipping houses whatever it is you can make six figures in really anything as long as there's a problem. In the video I discussed yesterday, it's very important to have a North Star, um, something that you know, you're know you working towards, and it's very, very important to have a goal 10, 20, 30 years down the road that you're working towards. So in terms of an interesting small business that ticks over with a profit each and every month, in the beginning, you're not going to get profit each and every month. Um, number one thing, if you want to create a successful business, is find a problem in a unique niche and solve that problem for that niche. That's literally all you have to do. So you're gonna have to do some research and, and ideally that niche should be something that you love. You should be really interested in the niche. So for example, if you like gaming on Xbox, research the sub niches of gaming on Xbox. It could be very specific games, very specific servers, whatever it is, dive deep into your niche, research, talk to people in the niche, figure out what some of their problems are, boom market that problem or, or uh, solve that problem with your service. And there you go, that's that's kind of a solution there. Um, me, uh, in, in, in terms of drop shipping, drop shipping works, but you have to have a very unique product and you have to have a very unique value proposition. You have to have that with almost every business, very unique service, very unique value proposition, and you need to stand out. You know, the big kind of, I'd say wave right now is consulting, drop shipping, SMMA, um, different stuff like that, which, most of it, yes, it can work, but if you go to people and say, I do SMMA, or I do consulting, or I do Facebook ads, or I do a dropshipping store, or you try to make one of those, you're not going to stand out. Everyone and their brother is trying to do this, so it's not going to work. You have to stand out. You have to be different. Um, one example with me, when I started, it was social media marketing agency. That's what I wanted to do. That's what I set up as, and that's kind of how I wanted to go about things started to realize that everyone was doing social media marketing agency and everyone was doing the exact same thing. So I started to realize, well, I don't want people to associate me with marketing. I don't want people to associate me with social media marketing agency. I don't want me to, I don't want people to associate me with consulting either. I want people to associate myself with me and my results and my business. It's, it's very unique. So that's honestly what I started to do. I started to only associate myself with myself. And if people said, what do you do? I said, well, you know, here's what I've done in the past. I've helped so-and-so do this, this, and this. And here's what I've done. This is what I've done in the past. Whether it's, you know, directing them to their website, my website, telling them a specific story of who I've helped and what I've done, that's what I've done. Um, I honestly like the idea, I guess if you want to simplify it down, of marketing, but you got to get more specific than that. So with me, I only help cryo skin businesses profit. That's it, right? And I do a variety of different things. Sure, I do Facebook. Sure, I do Instagram marketing. Sure, I do email. Sure, I do chatbots. Sure, I do all of it. Like all of it has a role. Sales, mindset, all of it has a role because not just one thing is going to blow up your business. Not just one thing is going to blow up your client's business. Not just one thing is going to get you clients. Above overall arching theme about this, with an interesting small business, building relationships is super important, right? If you can understand people, it doesn't doesn't matter how many books you've read, you know, it doesn't matter how many books you've read, it doesn't matter how many webinars you've watched, how many courses you've bought. If you don't understand people, you're not going to get anywhere. There's tons of different small businesses. Um, so I'll, I'll go broad, but just keep in mind with all of these, you need to go specific and you need to ideally be in a blue ocean. Okay. So marketing, consulting, great. Real estate flipping and real estate investing. Great. So if you guys are thinking, okay, well, Real estate sounds great. I want to do real estate, but I don't have the money. That's fine. Uh, you don't need to have the money. If you research and understand real estate, you understand the ins and outs of it. You understand how everything works. 
buy a few textbooks, go to some classes. They're not that expensive. When you do that, you can go to people that have money. Think of the Wolf of Wall Street, right? You call these people up, you, you gather them all, and you say, hey, I have an, a property that I've researched heavily. I have an inside connection, and I know we're going to make X amount of return. I'll handle everything. All I need is your guys' money. and All I'm asking for is a 3% cut or a 5% cut. You guys keep the rest. All I need is your money, right? You get 250 grand, 200 grand, 50 grand from each of these people, depending on how many people you have. Boom, you get a down payment for your first investment property and you kind of launch it from there. Slowly but surely you build up, you know, you'll, you'll sell that property in a few years or, or sooner, get a couple hundred thousand dollars from that. Then you can say, okay, do, do the same thing again. Say, hey, I want 10% because I'm gonna, you're going to put more money in now, right? So different things like that you can easily do. Flipping houses, sure. The, and, and just to be aware with this too, there's going to be an initial risk. There's going to be an initial problem that you're going to have to solve. There's going to be a risk that you are going to have to go into. No matter what the business is, there's going to be a risk. Expect a risk, a risk, expect failure. So just reading some of these comments Bought land near largest apartment complex. Yeah, that's a good one. What was the initial investment? Um, I do real estate stuff. How do you get the capital? Interested to know more. Live in Seattle, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, find a problem, find a need in the marketplace and go after it and stop getting distracted with a ton of these people saying they're making six figures in 30 days of drop shipping. It doesn't happen. Next one. Making a living online. There are endless opportunities to make money online where you can travel with nothing but your computer and live comfortably. Some are oversaturated, though, so in your eyes, what is the one best thing to start digging into as of right now? Have some ideas and want to get opinions on people who have tried out these things like selling online courses, selling flipping domains or websites, making a blog, funnel, affiliate, being a virtual assistant, starting a YouTube channel, being a brand ambassador. Just a couple ideas. Same kind of thing. <laughs> um, if you, Whatever you're, I really recommend whatever you're interested in whatever you have a passion towards or whatever others think that you're good at, go to that niche down, find something that's very unique, find something that's very specific, start researching and talking to people in that sub niche, in that sub market, figure out what their problems are and solve them. It's as simple as that. Create a solution for a problem in a very unique niche, right? So I'll, I'll take these one by one. Selling an online course. You can totally do that, but you have to have a unique value proposition and you have to have uh, and you have to be solving a problem in a very specific niche. For example, my um, my online course, I guess it's more of a mentorship. There's the course side of things where you watch videos and all that. Right. But the more specific side of it is you can talk to me one on one every single week as many times as you want to. And I'm right there by your side. OK, that's kind of my unique value proposition. You don't see a lot of things like that. Right. Second. Selling, flipping domains or websites. Once again, it works, but you got to choose one thing and become an expert in that field. If you try to do a million different things at first, it's not going to happen. I know a guy that at first he chose one thing, he stuck with it, became a millionaire with it. And then like now he does so many different stuff because he can, right? And he understands how, how business works really at the core. Like he, um, I know he buys, like he wanted to buy a sauna for his house, right? And he said he wanted three saunas and the, well, he, he wanted actually two. And the company says, oh, well, if you buy three, you can become like a brand ambassador for us and you can sell these different places and you get pretty much like a massive cut of all the profit. He's like, sure. So he buy, buys three saunas and now he literally sells saunas to people and just makes money hand over hand every month, right? Making a blog, making a funnel, same thing. They all work. All this stuff works. You have to have a very unique value proposition. Got to be unique in a very specific market or niche that has a problem that needs to be solved, right? And on top of this, if you're struggling to have a business and, and think of a business, think of how to make a living online or just your own business, a few things. Find a mentor, number one, highly recommended. I've had multiple mentors. Even the worst mentors that I've had have been better than any course. Totally recommend a mentor. Uh, second is you're going to have to choose one thing and become an expert in it and do research up front. And when I say do research, I, I, I really mean do research and not actually trying it. You got to figure out what what works and what doesn't and do a crap load of research and figure out what is actually going to work for you and what's not. Because if you if you do, if you look at it and stuff, like, oh, this all sounds great. Let me go in on all of it. Never going to work. Do extensive research on what you're interested in and what you want to achieve and then choose one and test it thoroughly. 
doesn't work, okay, iterate it, iterate it, iterate it. If it's still not working, don't beat yourself against the wall with it. Move on to something else. What's a good low budget investment? What's a good low budget investment with a limit of 500 bucks? I'm not looking to invest towards your retirement. I have some spare cash that I made over the summer. Um, few things. Depends on kind of what your goal is. One, a mentor. If you want to achieve anything, try to find a mentor to help you out for 500 bucks. I think that's a great, great investment to make, right? Second is um, a few different things. You could put it into a high yield savings and checking account. That's a great idea. It'll grow over time. On top of that, just save it. Like just, just keep saving it. Like keep, keep, keep saving and don't don't stop saving it and then invest in something big like real estate so like there's a pro and con to to low budget investments in a sense right there's some out there that are really valuable low budget investments you got to do your research you got to figure out what this is about and you got to take a risk right making an investment there's going to be a risk for the most part unless it's kind of like a um, high yield interest savings account like uh, betterment and wealth front and different stuff like that um or ally bank Real estate's a great investment or investing in yourself. I'd say those are probably one of my top two investments for me at least um, is investing in real estate or investing in yourself with a mentor or a really solid course. Once again, do your research, make sure you know what you want to achieve with it. Real estate's great, but you know, I would, I would keep saving, you know, instead of 500, however you, you had some spare cash you made over the summer, do that every summer. You'll have a couple thousand bucks by, you know, in a year or two, do that. Whatever you did over the summer, do it again. You made an extra 500 bucks. Maybe by the end of the year, you make a, a couple thousand. Keep that and invest it in real estate. I totally recommend either real estate or investing in yourself or saving it. Super important. Like, keep it simple as well. You don't need to go all these crazy places. Um, like, um, buy your modem. You know, once you said spend the money on items that allow you to reduce your existing costs, maybe. Um, Roth IRA, this guy's smart. Yeah, Roth IRA is kind of similar. Um, yeah, like you said, 500 won't get you extremely far, but Roth IRA is great. Um, yeah, that's my kind of advice on investments. Last one, no, I know this is kind of a short video, but I just wanted to get something out. Is there any other ways to advertise a Shopify store other than Facebook ads? I know Google ads and all that, but which ones are the best recommended for a Shopify store selling plushies, stuffed toys? I can't use Facebook for the time being because they literally killed all my three accounts with face verification and Facebook being Facebook. That's probably never going to be reviewed and accepted. Even when I create a new account, it gets hit with two minutes after. Once again, unique value proposition. Plushies and stuffed toys, anyone can sell that. You know, if you're drop shipping, anyone can sell that. You, you got to be a little bit more unique than that. So that's what I'd recommend. Sure, you don't want to do Facebook ads. There's Google, there's YouTube, um, there's influencer. Influencer marketing is the best, but with stuff toys, yeah, sure, you can do it, but it's not extremely unique. You find something that's a little bit more unique or you make your current niche a little bit more unique, you're going to be so much better off. For example, uh, there's a friend of mine who started a Shopify store but the product he had, it's like a vape pen, but it has like coffee in it instead of like nicotine, right? So it pretty much have caffeine, coffee, and like a few of like the ingredients in coffee that, to give you that like energy. And that's what it would be. Like that's an extremely unique, that's extremely unique. And once again, I guess it depends on how far you want to take your Shopify store. If you're just trying to make a couple extra bucks here and there, sure, you can use stuff toys. I would advertise on Google, influencer marketing. Um, growing like a growing a brand on your Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, you can do that too. Like partnering with <clears throat> like children's review channels on YouTube, you could easily promote stuff like this. But you know, what I'd really recommend is going a little bit more unique, a little bit more of a unique value proposition. So that's what I kind of recommend to do. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Um, you said killed all three of my accounts with face verification yeah i would maybe try to yeah create a legitimate personal facebook account and then go from there 
Hmm. Yeah, the fact that you're making so many probably on one account as well, Facebook is probably seeing that as, all right, that's not consistent, and I don't like that. So anyway, with that being said, I know this is shorter, a little bit of a shorter video. Hope you guys got some value out of it. Um, check out my previous video from yesterday. I'll probably have a new video tomorrow um, with some more in-depth questions. I just wanted to answer something from here. Uh, let me know what you guys think, and I will talk to you soon. Peace out.